Got another question on aromatic chemistry. So, as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. Okay, so part A, as well as testing your knowledge of the um, organic reaction pathways, it's also testing your knowledge on directing groups. So you'll see on the left-hand side, there's actually two orders you can do the reactions in. And on the right there, I've got the order that you can't do it in. So I'll just quickly explain that and then we'll just fill in the boxes. So one way you could do it is you could put the chlorine on first. You'll see chlorine is a 2,4 directing group. We want to create 4-chlorophenylamine. So if we put the chlorine on first and then put the nitro group on, that chlorine is going to direct the nitro group to position 4. You'll also get some of the 2 isomer as well, but we want the 4 isomer, so we can do it that way. And then once that nitro group's on, you can just reduce that to the amino group um, and that would give you the product. Likewise, if you put the nitro group on first and then convert it to the amino group, you can see the amino group's also a 2,4 directing group. So once the amino group's on, it will direct the chlorine to position 2 and 4. Remember, we want the 4 isomer. So if we look at the way you can't do it, so if you put the nitro group on first, but then try and put the chlorine on, you can see the nitro group is a 3 directing group, so you're going to end up with the chlorine going on to position 3. And then obviously, if you reduce the nitro group with the amino group, you've got the wrong product. So we'll just run through the stages now. So I've gone for chlorine on first. So you'd react benzene with chlorine and an, either an AlCl3 catalyst or FeCl3. That's going to substitute a hydrogen for a chlorine there. And then we can put the um, nitro group on. Remember, that's going to go to position four. You'll actually get some two as well. How do you do that? You react this with a mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acid, both concentrated, and that'll give you that. And then we need to reduce the nitro group to the amino group using a mixture of tin and concentrated HCl. Moving on to the mechanism now, so we need to take a pair of electrons from the delocalized ring of pi electrons to that slightly positive sulfur, and that's going to repel a pair of electrons in the pi bond onto the oxygen. That's going to generate this intermediate here, so we're showing the hydrogen now that's at the top there, and all we need to do is just take a pair of electrons, go back into reform that ring, so that's how we get this back, and obviously how the H plus comes off and is generated. Moving on to the reactions of paracetamol with bromine and sodium. So bromine, I've just put a substituted bromine there. The mark scheme allowed bromine in any position and any number of them actually, but I've just gone for that. Um, sodium will react with the phenol group and give us this salt here. And finally, the reaction of paracetamol with hot aqueous sodium hydroxide. So we've got hydrolysis of the amide bond. So this bond's going to break. So this part here is going to turn into that. And the right-hand side of the broken bond, we're going to get an amino group formed here. But just like we've explained in the previous part of the question, this sort of phenol group, if you like, is turned into the salt.